in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when the man came up to him and asked him, and he said to him, Ya Rasulullah, advise me. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, La taghdab, do not become angry. And he said again, Awsini, advise me. And he said to him, don't become angry. And he said to him a third time, Awsini, give me advice. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, do not become angry. And this hadith is narrated by Imam al-Bukhari. A key thing in life is to not become angry based on the advice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, as we said before, we need to know why is anger such a dangerous thing? Anger is the root cause of all evil. So it's easier before to make sure that what you're saying is correct. Sometimes it goes even to this degree that the person says and utters statements that are kufr, that are disbelief, that, would, that makes the person leave the fold of Islam. So all of this is caused by rage and that's why Going back to the words of Ja'far ibn Muhammadin rahimahullah ta'ala when he says Al-ghadabu jima'u shar is the root cause of all, all evil meaning that a lot of evil things that happen take place or occur due to the anger of the person. Some people what they do is they make dua in a state of rage and this is something that's really really dangerous right and especially if you have kids but some, because sometimes what parents do unfortunately is that in their state of anger, they make dua against their children. May you never get well, may you never see prosperity in your life, and so And these issues stick with them, mentally and emotionally as well, right? So mentally and emotionally for a child to hear that from a parent, from a mother and a father, that's something that's really destabilizes the child. Every step back he will think or she will think that this is due to the dua of my parents. And it might be, even be so, because sometimes what happens is, dua al-walid maqbool, right? The dua of the parent is accepted. So that's something that we need to wean our tongues from, not ever making dua upon our, uh, against our children, rather making dua for them. And he also said, لا تغضب ولك الجنة. And this is one of the virtues of not becoming angry all the time, that you get Jannah. And in other hadith, the Prophet wasallam did say, whoever suppresses his rage, suppresses his rage when he's able to fulfill it, meaning that he's able to unleash it against the people. He has the power, he has the authority. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will resurrect him on the day of judgment and he will let him have his choice of hul'in. Other virtues as well that the Prophet wasallam said, the strong person is not the person who's able to wrestle, meaning overpower other people. Rather, it's the one who is able to control himself at the time of anger. So that's the real strong person who's able to control himself at the time of anger. Now going back to the hadith that, that we mentioned in the beginning of uh, this course, the Prophet وسلم, said, لا تغضب, right? Don't become angry. And now we need to understand the hadith properly with help from the explanations of the scholars, right? Because obviously be, not becoming angry is something that's quite impossible it's something that we are created with becoming angry right it's a human trait to become angry when certain things happen in your life that causes you to become angry train yourself train your nerves to act with good manners ilm forbearance patience sabr uh, mercy rahma uh, forgiveness and so on and so forth Second one is to stay away from places and people and gatherings and whatnot that causes you to be angry. Third one is if you become angry, la qadr Allah, then don't act upon what the rage is telling you to do. Don't act upon your rage basically. Don't throw things, don't break the house, don't scream, don't shout, don't yell, don't curse people. Don't do none of that. Because the Prophet has actually taught us a lot of things that we can do in order to help us calm down when we become angry. So the first thing is obviously learning from the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ and his companions and their companions and so on, right? Learning from their patience, their forbearance, learning how they dealt with certain situations in their lives so that you could find yourself a role model in them. Second thing is Prophet ﷺ said to his companions that were sitting next to him, he said, Inni la I know a word. If he says it, he will find that everything that he's feeling right now will leave him. And they asked him, what, what is it, Ya Rasulullah? And he said, A'udhu Billahi bin shaytani rajim. The prophetic advice is what? Saying, A'udhu Billahi min shaytani rajim. A'udhu Billahi min shaytani rajim. And that's what you need to say. Another thing that Prophet mentioned, if a person amongst you becomes angry, 
and he's standing up, let him sit down. Another good advice, which is I believe is golden, is being silent. As they say, speaking is silver, then being silent is gold, right? And the Prophet وسلم, said, as the narration by Imam Ahmad ta'ala, in his Musnad, Man samata naja, whoever is silent uh, is saved. And subhanAllah, we find, as Ibn Hazm says, rahimahullah, he says, we find that people uh, sometimes say things and they regret it, right? They've said things and then they've regretted it afterwards. But he says, but you'll never find and he says about himself, I've never found a person that was silent and had regretted it. He was silent and had regretted it. Because generally when you're silent, then la laka wa la alayk. Nothing is for you, but nothing is against you as well. The tongue is obviously the most dangerous thing to deal with when it comes to your rage and anger, right? Hands, physically, a lot of people are not prone to that. Some people are physically, what do you call it, physically prone to physical abuse. But generally, a lot of people stay away from that and they know that physically harming someone is really bad, right? One of the most important things to do, as the Prophet ﷺ taught us, is to remove yourself from the situation. Point of the story is that when Ali radiallahu anhu went, he removed, this is the point of the story and the moral of the story is, if you like what you're seeing, then take it to the next level on amauacademy.com. We have nearly 100 self-development courses specifically tailored for Muslims, each packed with its own ebook and quiz. You'll get a new course every two weeks, so head over now to amauacademy.com.